Greetings and welcome to another special Man Bites COVID installment of Quantslob, What Flattened the Curve Isn't, Part 2. Our first edition in this series was motivated by the fact that many people, it seems, are misinterpreting some of the COVID graphs commonly found online and in media. These cumulative plots here are not intended to convey the curve uh, that is referred to in the phrase flatten the curve. These are great resources, no question about it, but we always want to interpret them correctly lest we be misled. If you want the details, I encourage you to watch the earlier Man Bites COVID installment. Uh, it's been eight days since and we have a few more data points, so we wanted to offer a quickie update here. Here is our current cumulative total infected cases by day for the U.S. Here is now our uh, difference plot showing number of infected by day. This path or curve is what is often referred to in the phrase flatten the curve, especially by medical practitioners, since our path here enables the medical community to anticipate how many sufferers at some point in time may need access to medical services and of course how this number may be evolving over time. Now here we see the suggestion, at least, uh, that over the past week or so, uh, the curve is in fact flattening. So I would say that this is quite encouraging. We need to be cautious though, uh, using these empiric data to infer the actual unknown rate of spread within the larger population. Now, very importantly, we've been looking at numbers for the US for the sake of example. But of course, as we all know, the slob nation has no borders. In this video description, you will find a link to a web widget. Nothing uh, fancy or flashy or anything like that, but it should get the job done. Whatever your home country or the country of your friends and loved ones, you can filter the data uh, and uh, look for the flattening pattern. And uh, that's it. That's going to do it this time around. Thank you very much for tuning in. We are wishing each and every one of you the very best. Don't forget to stay tuned for more Quantslot.